Hello Masses! Oh, we've had a message on how to make a webcomic asking about how to put together a website to show off your webcomic. So I thought today it would be a good idea if we covered that in depth. Now there are two ways that you can really set up a website for a webcomic. The first is a little long-winded but it gives you a lot of creativity and the other is the standard route that most people go down because overall it's a lot less effort. And to be honest with you, once you've spent all that time scripting and drawing your webcomic, the less effort you have to put in to actually show it to people, the better. So let's start off with that version because it's an awful lot easier. All you'll need for this is a web host that allows you to use MySQL databases and PHP a copy of WordPress and a copy of a WordPress theme such as Webcomic and Inkblot or ComicPress which is the one that a lot of people use. It's very good, I use it myself but they're all very good and basically pick one that you think will work best for you. So you've got all those things, well all you have to do is log into the FTP address for your website it'll be provided to you by your web host such as ftp.thisismywebcomic.com or whatever upload the files that you got from WordPress and run the configuration file WordPress comes with what's called its famous 5 minute install and it really is very good. There's full instructions there, you'll be able to set up your database and get it online. Once that's there, you need to extract Comic Press and upload that into the themes subdirectory on your website and that will upload that. And then you go into WordPress onto the admin side, so it's uh, if your website is like mywebcomic.com then, the, then the admin side will be www.mywebcomic.com slash wp-admin Log in there with the details that you put in when you put together your website on the 5 minute install and go to appearance and then click on themes and pick the comic press theme that you want to use. Normally we go for a three column because that puts you, your standard newspaper style webcomic at the top of the page and then has your three columns underneath so you've got your links, your blog and whatever else you want or in some cases your advert, your blog, your advert or whatever you want it's your style, pick how you do it. And then from there all you need to do is upload comics in the format of year hyphen month hyphen day hyphen and then the title dot png or dot jpeg or whatever and put them into the, the slash comics folder on your website you'll need to create that folder and then create a post and set it as your comic blog and give it a title and it'll find the, co the comic file that you've uploaded, link it to that blog post and show it on your website. It's very simple and how exactly you do this is listed in the README documentation that comes with both WordPress and ComicPress. So have a read through those and you'll be fine. So the other way you can do a website is the way that I used to do it. And this is way back in 1996 when WordPress and things weren't around because blogs weren't really a thing back then. And we put together web comics by uploading our comic files into a comics directory on our website and then writing the HTML code ourselves. Now this sounds a bit difficult but to be honest with you it's fairly straightforward and once you've done it once you can copy the file and then just rewrite little bits of it to make it link to your new comic and things like that. So I would put together an index file with uh, HTML in brackets, head, title, whatever the title your comic is, slash title, slash head, body and then link to your comic, uh, close the link and underneath you would put first, previous, next, last and leave those blank for this one because it's your first comic save it all as index.html and put it on your website through the FTP again. Now that will put up one page on your website it's the front page because it's your index and it goes and shows you that comic. So what do you do when it's the next day or the next time you update and you want to show the new comic? Well that's simple. Copy the, the index.html file that you've got and then upload it again into your FTP folder but renamed as the date of your previous update so let's say you put up one today and then you're going up tomorrow so the the updated one that you just put up would be named with today's date .html. now go into the index.html file that you have on your on your FTP site download that and, and edit it in notepad and change all the information in it so where it says where you've got the image link to your previous file change that so it links now to your latest update and then underneath you've got first previous next last change those using uh, anchor text so that the first one goes to your first webcomic so yesterday's date.html that's what that links to the same with previous for the moment and then leave next and last blank 
save that as index.html again and upload it to your website overwriting the one that's there. Now, your website, when you go to it, will display today's comic. And if you press first, it'll go to yesterday's because that's the first one. And if you press previous, it'll go to yesterday's because that's the previous one. So it comes up to day three now. Well, do the same process with copying to the index.html file and uploading that as yesterday's did. And then edit the HTML file again. So putting in, an, instead of the image link to yesterday's file, put in today's file. And now look at the anchor links again. The anchor link for first, leave alone. The anchor link for previous, change to yesterday's. Save that. But we have missed one thing out. What about next and last? Well, what you should have done earlier on is go back to yesterday's, the, the first date's HTML file and edit next and last. Because they are, they've now changed for that one. So next would be the next day's link and last always should be from now on index.html. That will always make sure you get the latest update. Save that, upload it again. Then the previous day, previous next latest and you can put in that. And just keep going on like that. It's a little bit more effort, but it allows you ultimate customization because every single page can be different. So you want, say you've got uh, comics that take place in a different universe. You could have the, the entire website look different for those particular pages, but it will be the same pages for everything else. It adds a lot of creative potential to your website. Okay, that's pretty much it. If there's any questions, leave them in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best I can. Until next time, I've been Zoe Kirk Robinson, you've been watching a video, and I'll see you tomorrow.